Welcome to the Third Wind channel. Today we're doing Zoe 101 Seasons Ranked. And we're doing this now because we've been doing season episode tier lists, all four seasons. And I thought a great way to wrap this up would be to make a ranked seasons uh, video. So here we are. Let's rank the seasons of Zoe 101. And before I get into it, let me just mention that we did do an iCarly Seasons Ranked. So you can check that out if you like this video. But let's uh, and, you know we make a lot of different nickelodeon content as you can see on the screen if you see anything you like go watch it afterwards and subscribe but let's get into the video all right so here are the seasons for zoe 101 and i i added a little nickname for each season but don't pay much too much attention to it it's just kind of like an indicator for me uh but season one yeah the dana season it's the only season with dana it feels a little off maybe the pace like i mean they're still figuring out what this show is and whatnot so that that's season one then we got season two which is the shipping season there's a lot of different um i don't know different couples and things building up and i think that's it, it, it's a season where you can kind of think about oh i like him with her or whatever it may be uh then we got season three which is the longest season by far with 23 episodes there's a lot of really good moments here and you know but it's it gets diluted by you know just a lot of episodes and then we got season four which i call it the no no chase season because he's there are 13 episodes and he's only in two of them so that's that's an important point by the way um but let's get into just dissecting each of these seasons starting with season one which is the dana season um you know we get introduced to our cast here so that obviously that moment is important and um this season feels a little bit different than all the others. Like I, I, I was kind of in on it already before, but yes, we have a different cast. We have no Lola. We have Dana, and uh, let's say a good like two or three of the episodes are kind of more introduction episodes, like getting to know what our characters are like. Like in New Roomies, we have Dana and Nicole fighting, which can get annoying, but it's 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 something that you remember. But this season, I don't know why, but it feels a little bit more um more playful more less serious um the the finale little beach party is a little bit disappointing uh otherwise i really enjoy episodes like school dance or disc golf or jet x or the play i think those or prank week those those highlight like the fun parts of this uh, of the season even webcam is a very fun episode but there are some episodes which i'm not a big fan of like Defend, defending Dustin. Any episode that's revolving around Dustin, I generally don't like. But I get that defending Dustin was kind of there to uh, show that Zoe's a good sister, and that's a bit of a theme in this ep in this whole season. It's kind of like uh, a problem arises or whatever, and Zoe's always saving the day. Zoe's amazing. That's this whole season. Zoe is amazing. <laughs> that's kind of what the the way they wrote this. Uh, and yeah, I I think it's a good season though. Great starting season. Let's move on to season two. Uh, we're ranking these later. We're just kind of talking about the seasons now. So yes, we got back to PCA. It's kind of became the tradition of like every time a season starts, we come back to PCA. Um, and yeah, season two, uh, no more Dana. And we're introduced to Nicole. No, sorry, Lola, which is one of the best characters in the show. So, you know, we get a step up because Dana kind of cringe, not going to lie. Um, yeah, but we got classics like Time Capsule and Spring Breakup, and, uh, I really like those episodes a lot, and that, for me, those two episodes are two of the best in the whole show. I love that in Season 2 we get the build-up with Chase and Zoe, but we also get episodes like Lola Likes Chase, kind of throwing us off a little bit. I thought, I thought that episode was really heartwarming, and it builds kind of an interesting relationship with Lola and Chase. We got Spring like for example i mean again the season finale didn't impress me too much here quinn's alpaca is a bit of a weak episode for finale what else can i say about season two it's just really solid They're, like every single episode is is watchable very good uh even like girls will be boys where lola goes undercover as a boy or robot wars where they have basically battle bots and zoe 101 there's just so many fun moments i don't know it's just super solid every episode is right there and has two of the best episodes of the whole show for sure uh next we got season three uh which is a really long season so i'm gonna try to make this short but basically the way i put season three is that it has just too many good moments like 
Goodbye Zoe or Dance Contest or, you know, The Great Vince Blake or Curse of PCA or Chase's Grandma. Like, so many good moments. And for me, what really makes this season is the interactions with between Chase and Zoe. I feel like this is the one where um, it all comes to a head and it's kind of building up to that season finale where we know that Chase confesses his love. And I think that this is kind of the true ending season for Zoe 101. I don't know. I, I just feel like there's, there's it built up. We have our best cast here. Everyone's uh, here. Uh, oh, one thing I didn't mention about season one, uh, another reason why I think it's a little worse is because Quinn is a, a little more annoying than usual. But here, like season two and three, Quinn is great. Um, I don't know. This, this season... It's it's long and and that's why maybe maybe if I were to rate it by like you know quality over time in the episodes, um maybe it would be a bit lower for me, but um it, there's just too many good episodes. I don't know. <laughs> Let's move on. I'm talking way too much. Season four, the no chase season. We got trading places where so and Chase trade places. Therefore, Chase is not at PCA. We got fun episodes that kind of like follow up on this chase thing, like um fake roommate which i thought were really funny alone at pca is a classic for me it's a bit of a, a funny episode with the, involving the dean uh, otherwise i feel the chase void is quite big it's kind of like like they sh it shows the strength of, of the other characters but it's just not the same without chase for me what else can i say about this season it's yeah, because of the chasing it's a bit off. But there's still some really good episodes. Uh which ones uh, Vince is back or um I like Coffee Cart Ban or um yeah, like I said, Alone in PCA. Uh we also get like the whole Quinn with Logan thing, which some people hate, some people love. I think it's kind of interesting. And obviously we get a, a fantastic series finale in Chasing Zoe, which obviously puts season four much higher than it would be otherwise uh it's not it's no season five of iCarly let's put it that way uh but let's move on and uh rank the seasons I've been talking way too much but uh um yeah let's get into it so first we got season four like I just mentioned it feels a little bit off um that being said it's not bad I still liked watching it but Chase being my favorite character uh, it's it's just, and also, you know, James wasn't that interesting. I understand what they were trying to do with the whole thing and make it a little bit intense. You know, he, she, uh, Zoe's in a relationship with James and whatever. But it, not, one thing I should mention right now is that none of, this is a very hard video to make because each season is so different. It has a different cast. Uh, for me personally, a chaseless season which feels a little bit awkward because Chase has been something that's been very consistent in the show. It just feels a little off, and uh, you can tell that season three is uh, kind of where things maybe were at its peak. I don't know. Uh, next, <laughs> though, at number three, we have season one. I've kind of talked about how Dana... I'm not the biggest fan of Dana. I think she's kind of cringe. I think Lola's infinitely better. I also think that they're still crying kind of figuring out where the show is what the show is going to be you even see in this picture that there's no Quinn uh, and Quinn was still quite prominent but she was very she, she was a very different character she was much more socially awkward and, and annoying I'd say um, but, and a lot of these things combined some of the episodes being a little like the finale I'm not a big fan of um, just a lot of these things combined uh, make season one a great opener but not the best season by any means. Um, yeah, let's move on. Season two is our number two. So season two, I mentioned, is a really solid season. It's got, honestly, I think probably two of my favorite episodes in Zoe 101. And it doesn't really have a bad episode. Uh, this season introduces Lola, which, you know, is a great improvement on Dana. And I think that everyone, every character in this season develops a lot. And kind of sets us up for what I think is the best season of Zoe 101, which is season three. And yes, it has some kind of more dead episodes, uh, but it is a longer season. But it makes up for with, you know, just 
so many incredible moments, um, especially the ones between Chase and Zoe, which is kind of what Zoe 101 is about. And every character gets their episode to shine. Every character uh, has their likable moments. Everyone, I don't know. And what really, like, when I was thinking about, like, why why would I put season three number one? It, it comes down also to that season three finale with Chase admitting his love and the buildup for that with the dance contest or the radio or uh, Chase's grandma. All those moments between Zoe and Chase. I think this season is just, it just has to be my number one. And it is a bit of a cheat because it's the longest one, but I think it makes up for it with those episodes. But that being said, now you know. I think season three is the best. I think season two is the second best, and season one is the third best, With which means, yes, that season four is the fourth best. Maybe I'll think something else in the future. Uh, I'll let you guys know, but that's my ranking. And a fun fact, season three, so far, we did iCarly as well, and... Click off now if you haven't seen that iCarly rank video and you're planning to. But, one, two, three. That iCarly, I ranked season three as the best episode there too. So maybe, maybe uh, Dan Schneider shows, maybe he kind of figures it out by season three. Maybe that's the peak of these shows. I don't know. That's just an observation. But that's been us at the third wind. This is kind of, I guess, the last of the Zoe 101 uh, videos that uh, I think that I'll be making for now uh, but let me know in the comments below your Zoe 101 season ranked ranking your own ranking and what kind of Zoe 101 content do you want to see from here I mean I I love to keep making it um, but if you guys have any suggestions let me know uh, either way uh, also uh, moving on we're probably going to be doing Victorious or Drake and Josh next you know, I don't know which one. If you guys have a strong uh, opinion about which one you want, then let me know. But uh, that's that's it. I'm going to stop talking now because I've been going on forever. Okay, well, I'll see you guys soon. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it.